hi youtube welcome to my channel um and if you have been here before then welcome back to those that are new um i'm cat and i'm the mother of two um to a three-year-old and a three month old well almost three months um and um i do videos on um just general motherhood um using cloth nappies cloth pads um, trying to be sustainable in general um, but mainly at the moment just you know newborn life and um, motherhood yeah <laughs> um, anyway let's just get into the video um, I hope it helps right. hi YouTube so uh, Lily is um, three months old on Sunday, um, which is insane. I, I can't believe that it's already three months. Like, it's just bizarre. I can't believe that three months ago she wasn't here. It feels like both a long time and a short time at the same time. It's weird. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd talk about the things that I consider um, newborn essentials. Um, they're all over the house so I don't want to go all over the place but I will try and insert pictures or videos where I can. Um, so the first things obviously feeding related, um, maybe not obvious, but um, I exclusively breastfeed but I do pump every now and then. Um, I was pumping once every day but it got a bit tiresome because it wasn't really necessary. Um, I was doing it so that she could have um, her vitamins in the bottle and get used to a bottle but at the moment there's not really any need for that and she can have her vitamin drops on my breast or in her mouth so we've just been doing that for the past like week or two. Um, but that might change when we move house. Um, however, pumping wise, I don't think I would have been able to do this while breastfeeding if I hadn't pumped, because um, the first um, like week or so, it's quite difficult, especially when you get in engorged on like day three. I think it was for me, um, and she couldn't latch because I was so full. Um, so I had to pump some off. Um, so I don't think I would have been able to continue breastfeeding if I hadn't pumped on day three. Um, and any time that I've been too full to, to actually get her to latch on. So I would say some sort of pump. Um, my little hand pump has been good for whenever I've really needed a pump. Um, like the last time I pumped was because she fed and then fell asleep and for some reason my boobs rolled up really fast um, and she was asleep for like ages so um, um, she'd been asleep for like two hours and she usually has like a three four hour nap during the day um, like around lunchtime so I was quite jam-packed after a couple of hours um, for some reason it doesn't usually happen that quickly and um, I pumped with my little hand pump and got four ounces out of one breast. Um, I had been troubleshooting shield sizes, so um, yeah, um, I'd gone down to the smaller shield size with the Lansano pump, and um, I've just ordered the smaller size for the LV pump as well. Um, and this, yeah, the smaller size is the one that I need apparently. I got four ounces off one breast after, you know, just two hours after feeding her. But um, it's not necessary if you if you are exclusively breastfeeding, then it's not necessary to have a pump. Um, but I would get some sort of pump just in case you get too engorged that your baby can't feed, because you will need to alleviate some of the milk. Um, and some of the pressure around your nipples so that she can or he can latch on. Um, so some sort of pump, um, 
if you're exclusively breastfeeding, you don't necessarily need bottles, but um, we have MAM bottles, which are um, really good because they are self sterilizing. Um, however, if I was to buy bottles new, I wouldn't have gotten those because they're plastic. Um, if I was buying bottles new, I would have got um, the glass version. I would have still got a mam because um, she only seems to like the mam um, teats. So, kind of have to stick with the mam brand. Um, so, yeah, I would have just gotten the, the glass ones. Or I would have gotten the Pura, I think it's called Pura. Um, they're like a um, stainless steel bottle. They're on Amazon. I'll see if I can find the link um, and insert a picture. Um, and basically, you're supposed to not need to sterilise them as much because they're stainless steel. And um, you can change the spout out, the, well, change the teat out for a spout or a sports cap. Um, so that they can have the same bottle forever basically um, so I would have gotten the 11 ounce one of those so that it would last you know forever because um, the smaller one I, like I don't I don't see like a five-year-old using a nine ounce one um, but yeah that's one thing bottle if you need a bottle um, I would have gotten the purer um, stainless steel ones um, if you are using pumps and bottles and stuff you need a sterilizer we have the mum um, microwave sterilizer but it also has a shelf so that you can use it as a cold water sterilizer too um, uh, my LV pump you can't um, put in the microwave um, obviously you wouldn't put the pump the pump parts you can't put in the microwave because um, they have a tendency to warp so um you have to cold water sterilize them or boil them for 15 minutes but i'm not boiling um bottles and stuff um no um if they can't go in the microwave then i don't see why they should be boiled either um but yeah so we cold sterilize them like every so often um i don't really sterilize every day anymore because she well I'm, I'm not pumping every day for a start but if i was pumping every day i'd i wouldn't sterilize every single day because she's newborn now plus it's not like my boobs are sterile um but i do sterilize every so often so that you know there's not a build up of bacteria um so yes we have the mam sterilizer um i uh, Another thing I wouldn't have been able to manage with breastfeeding wise is um, the nipple shields. Um, when I was too full breast wise, um, milk wise, um, to feed her at night, um, obviously I don't want to pump milk off in the middle of the night so that she can attach. So I use the shields at night time um, in the early days. I haven't touched a nipple shield in um, at least a couple of weeks now, uh, but again, you need to sterilise them too um, because they are going in their mouth. Um, but um, yeah, we we don't really need them now because she's gotten really good at it, and I don't get as engorged now that I've pretty much regulated. Um, but nipple shields, we have the mam one. Um, this is going to sound like an advert for mam, but um, yeah, um, though I don't like the mam hand pump. Um, yeah, the we have the mam um, nipple shields, um, they work really well. Um, what else? Um, feeding wise. Uh, um the another thing feeding wise or nutrition wise rather for the newborn months is um the vitamin d drops um because i'm exclusively breastfeeding because i'm exclusively breastfeeding 
um, we don't get enough sun, so therefore don't get enough vitamin D. So we need to take, um, so we need to give the baby Hello. vitamin D drops. Hello. Yeah. So um, I think that covers the feeding side of things. Uh, sleeping. Um, she's just been in her mother's basket so far um, for most of the night. And then she tends to come in with us at around five in the morning and then we wake up at around eight. Um, so her Moses basket, I think it was um, kin Kinder Valley or something. It was in Argos, I think. my um, It was second hand of my sister. But basically any Moses basket is fine as long as the um, mattress is breathable. Um, I think... I think hers is foam or something. We have her in a sleeping bag pretty much every night because it's easier, um, especially when it's cold. Um, we know that she's always covered. She started getting really kicky at night and kicking her covers off, so um, it's easier to know that she's definitely covered in a sleeping bag. Um, We've got ones with lots of different togs and stuff, but um, basically, as long as she's just got one layer on, she can go in a two tog one. Um, um, that's it, basically. Um, we don't really do anything special for sleep. Uh, when we move, she will have to go into her IKEA cot because um, she's getting a bit long for a Moses basket now. Um, yeah, so, but we can't really do that right now because it would just disturb Heather because um, Lily's not at the point where um, she's sleeping through enough. Um, like I said, she only sleeps until about um, five o'clock. Um, so I don't want her to disturb Heather. Um, uh, so when we move, Lily will be in the um like playroom as her bedroom for the first few months that we're that we've moved into the new house and then um oh, once she's oh. sleeping a bit better heather wants to share rooms with her so <laughs> um so we've got to wait for her to be sleeping better first um uh and then um Oh, also sleep-wise, the nest, um, there, um, her little pod, <laughs> I don't know what else it's supposed to be called, um, we just call it her nest, um, it was the mummy one, and, um, it's been really good so far, but I think she's starting to outgrow it, so, um, I wouldn't recommend it, um, to be honest. Um, I wish I'd gotten the one that I was planning on getting. Um, I got that because it was going, like, for next to nothing second hand. Um, and obviously I wanted to get second hand, but I wish I'd have just, um, got the one that I wanted, um, which would have lasted longer um uh i mean um we also have the bouncer chair that she tends to sleep in a lot as well um but yeah you just want somewhere that they can nap downstairs in um because you don't want to be carrying the moses basket around the house we did that a lot with heather and it was just a pain in the bum but not as much of a pain in the bum as it would be if we lived here because we were in a flat when Heather was in a Moses basket. Um, but yeah, you just want something that they can be comfy in. Um, yeah. Um, the bouncer we have, uh, I've shown in a previous video, but it's the Ingenuity Bouncer. Um, it has two bounce settings and uh, I want to say eight um, music or sound settings 
because it's got a few lullabies and a few like white noises um and it's also got like a a toy bar a toy bar that's like got dangly um soft toys on it you're just going mad aren't you um so yeah that's um toys aren't really um that necessary at this age um because they're not really that focused on anything um though lily does like anything that squeaks um uh yeah anything that squeaks she will smile at um she sort of cackled at one once um but yeah um if you want to get them anything for newborn stage just get squeaky stuff um sophia the giraffe will cover all bases basically um um but yeah i wouldn't bother too much with toys in the newborn phase um she really hasn't fussed with that much um she likes looking at um the black and white books that we have for her um and she likes um squeaky stuff um she likes crinkly stuff as well um but she's got a crinkly bit on a play mat um the play mat we have is the lamar's um monkey play mat um i'll put a picture um but we had it for heather and it did have a um i've explained this in my what we have for a newborn video but um it did have a bar across the top um but it was too floppy i didn't trust that heather wouldn't knock it over and end up tripping over lily so i just put that back in the what's going on so i just put that back in the cupboard and got lily the um ikea um jungle gym whatever you call it um off the facebook marketplace i was going to get it from ikea but just got it second hand um and that's um that's doing really well um it's wood so it's sustainable um but um yeah lily likes um turning the spinny bits on the sides um obviously we use cloth nappies um so that's a necessity for us um as well as all the you know wet bags cloth wipes um etc um but obviously if you're using disposables that's not a necessity um just realized i forgot about the nursing pillow we did use well i used the nursing pillow a lot um at first um just so it could you know help me arrange her because the easiest way to feed her at first was the um rugby hold um so that really helped get in a position but lately it's just been across the lap and my boobs just sort of like dangle in her face <laughs> um um so we haven't really used it much recently breast pads obviously as well um we use the well i i have the tj's um breast pads um which are really good um i have about 20 of those um and they're washable so good for the environment um then what else do we have we have the joey um i don't know what it's called but we have the joey um push chair travel system that comes with the car seat um yeah you obviously need a car seat to bring your baby home from the hospital um um and you don't necessarily need a push chair um i haven't actually used the push chair that much since having her 
um, I'd say maybe 40% of the time we've used the push chair, the rest of the time we've used the carrier um, because the carrier is just easier. Um, um, yeah, um, I've got two carriers, you can see them both there. Um, that one is the Baby Peter one. Um, we don't, I don't reach for that one as much because it takes longer to put on, and by the time um, I've got it all wrapped around me and everything, she's screaming her head off because the reason that I'm putting it on is because she wants cuddles while I'm trying to cook or something. Um, so I put that on if like she's not really upset yet. Um, but if she's getting upset already, then I'll just use the Ergo Baby. She's just about getting tall enough to not use the Infant Insert now. Um, the, because the Infant Insert, I think it's supposed to go to like £11, and she's about 13 now, I'd say, um, if she's following her line. But, um, her legs are quite short in comparison to the rest of her, um, because... Um, well she was a chunky baby in the womb so you know um, but she's got quite short legs um, so her knees don't quite perfectly reach the edge of the material yet but I've sort of like tucked it in um, because it makes it more comfortable for both of us to not have the newborn insert in, it, in at the moment she's getting taller yeah. <laughs> um, what else do we have, Lily? Um, Clothing-wise, um, I didn't think I would be using sleep suits and vests as much because I didn't really enjoy using them with Heather. But um, but sleep suits have been um, a go-to for night time. But I don't know if it's just because we've got so many. I don't know, people bought so many for us. Um, but yeah, sleep suits have been the go-to for night time. Um, unless she's been in the super thick sleeping bag, then we've used long sleeve vests. Um, but in the two top, we use sleeping bags. And then anything lower, we'll add a vest underneath. Um, during the day, she tends to um, be wearing um, a vest with a pair of leggings and then a jumper or cardigan. Um, haven't really bothered much with tops unless it's been really cold. Just put a cardigan over her vest. Because um, we she's got loads of cardigans. <laughs> um, if it's a warmer day then she will just have um, um, her vest on. Um, with some trousers, can't forget the trousers at the moment. Hats, um, me and my family made a lot of hats, so she's got plenty of those. Um, and it's very cold at the moment, she, she, she really needs a hat when we go outdoors. And socks, because uh, we, um, the trousers that she wears don't have feet attached to them, they've just like open, open feet um, leggings. Um, most of the ones she's got a uh, cut for cloth, so um, stuff like Blade and Rose and Jewels. Um, um, surprisingly, M and S are quite roomy in the in the bum, so um, yeah, we've been using those sort of brands. And then vests. Um, I think the main ones we have are from M and S as well. They were off um, Matt's mom. Um, and then jumpers and cardigans have been made by me and my mum and grandma um, um, she doesn't wear shoes apart from the occasional booty that again has been knitted by one of either me or one of my family members um, um, and then hats. Um, she has so many hats. Um, so 
yeah she's um very warm <laughs> she's a very warm baby um uh obviously she's got tights for when she's wearing dresses the cream we use um normally is um the medella no not medella i don't remember it's the metanium the yellow one for when she's a bit sore and um, then um as a like a barrier cream or even just a moisturizing cream i recommend um this um child's farm nappy cream um that's just for you know general general use um but we use the metanium one if she's you know in need of something extra but we use the child's farm one just in general because it's cloth safe like we change her as soon as she trumps basically because she tends to just trump everything up <laughs> um but no matter what she she does get the occasional sore but so metanium is the only thing that we've really ever used um since heather so that's the only one i can really recommend um dummies um i've said in a previous video um lily won't use any other dummy apart from the zero to two months mam soothers i think that's what they're called but they're yeah they're the mum newborn dummies basically um she won't use any others um don't know why but yeah the bath seat we have is the angel care bath seat um i think it's the older version i think the newer version is a bit more shaped and um probably <laughs> it looks like it wouldn't fit um lillian to be honest it looks really slim i don't know um but we've got yeah i'll, I'll put a picture or something um it's it's brilliant um i think um it holds her nicely um she loves being in it um um recently i've been using it as like a seat for her in the kitchen um so she can watch me do the pots because um like if she's not sleepy enough to sleep she'll happily just watch me do the pots and we have a little sing song as well um um yeah it's just easier to put her in that than carrying any other form of like i don't want to put that on the kitchen floor and her bouncer is a bit too big so it's easy and um, plus um the kitchen is right next to the bathroom as well so i can just grab it out of the bathroom and pop it on the kitchen floor and she enjoys sitting in that um like for a while until she gets like hungry or overly tired um and it has a like maximum fill line but um um we've since she's grown a bit we've been able to fill it past that line um i think that that line is for like newborns to make sure new parents are more careful um because if i fill it to there it doesn't even touch her belly anymore um so i just do it a little bit past it and she loves being in the water the last thing I can think of is um, a nappy bag um, and some sort of travel changing mat. Um, obviously, we've got the changing mat in the on the changing table, um, but I don't think it's. Um, right in the house, it's not as a cons as much of a concern to have a changing mat. Um, because like everything is fairly clean um, but if you are changing your baby outside of the house um, you don't exactly know 
what's on the surface that you're changing them on so you need some sort of changing mat in your changing bag um the changing bag that i have is um quite a popular design on amazon um I don't know if it's actually branded, but um, it's got um, a few pockets on the inside, um, very deep main pocket, and it's got a, a zip at the back so you can <laughs> access stuff. Um, and it's got a zip at the back, at the bottom of the back, so you can access things um, that are at the bottom. Um, and in that zip um, pocket there is a zip on the flap that has a pocket in it that you can put like anything wet in um, I have put wet wipes in there before um, or wet clothes um, yeah um, and then in the front section it's got insulated pockets which were great when I had Heather because she was bottle fed but with Lily I just put my things in them like my portable power bank um uh my hand sanitizer um anything like that um and then I have like a health kit that has like plasters and creams and stuff in a little wet bag um, a mini, a mini wet bag. Um, um, yeah, I'll see if I can find a um, link to my nappy bag as well because it has lasted a good long time. Um, I was going to be using um, a little pink bag that I bought, but I don't think that was realistic. Um, due to the fact that we're using cloth nappies um, and plus with being zero waste I have a lot of things that I have to take with me like um, cutlery, a water bottle, um, etc. Yeah, some sort of nappy bag. Um, if you're going to use cloth nappies you want to make sure that it's big enough because um, clearly a little... Um, 10 litre, whatever my pink bag is, it's not big enough for cloth nappies. Um, even, I mean, if you're just nipping out, then you can just put a couple of nappies in there and it's fine. But um, if you're um, taking everything with you, you need a, a good sized bag. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there because I can't think of anything else and I am rambling on and I'm going to have to crop this down so bad. <laughs> um, the next video I'm going to do is going to be a um, a H&M um, nursing clothing haul um, because I have just um, bought some clothing from H&M in their nursing range um, and it's it's been good um, I did have to return some sort of because um, I'm bigger than I thought. <laughs> okay, anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.